You know how many of these we need? Like, okay, you just got a week. What are you gonna do for the second week? <laughs> Open up my heart and you'll find you don't ever have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, Open up my heart and you'll find love, 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 mm -hmm. love, 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 open up my heart. Hi, Keep It Crazy family. It's shopping day. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I've just not been into grocery shopping. As you guys know, a lot of, I've just been having groceries delivered to the house, but there's just like those things that like you just need to go to the store for. I feel like that's one of those things. Also, Erin and I are going out of town soon, which will be very fun. We're actually headed to New York to go wedding dress shopping. So we're gonna be doing some meal prep so that the kids have dinners while we're gone and all of that and more in this vlog. So let's do that. Wait, meal prep? We're not just doing like Hot Pockets and pizza bites? No. Sweet. We're not doing that. What? Right? No. No. Real food. We should have fruits and vegetables. Oh, no. An actual dinner. Yeah. I like it. Such Let's, a good cook. Let's good. get it. You're going to help me meal prep, okay? Okay. Real quick before we start shopping, Aaron's going to run over. He has to get his tire fixed. He has a nail in his tire. Poor tire. Poor tire. R.I.P. It's like Just a Just kidding. They should get a patch it. But anyways, then he will meet us at the grocery store. But before we do that, so I have to get gas real quick and my car has been such a gas guzzler and with prices so high I've been like ah but Joe was telling us about this app called Upside and we have been using it and loving it you can get cash back on pumping gas next claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside check in at the business pay as usual with a credit or debit and get paid in comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with the upside. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. That's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. You can use the Upside app to for gas, groceries, and at restaurants and all of that. The app is super, super easy to use. All you do is click into it. You can see all the different offers and you can claim it right there. The other thing I love is that you can cash out at any time and you can put it into your bank account. You can do PayPal, e-gift card for Amazon, which is my favorite, um, and also other brands. To get started, Started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or on Google Play. Use my code CRAZYPIECES to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Okay, we gotta get to the grocery store and let's get shopping. So I did remember all my reusable bags this time, so yay! I feel like I've forgotten those so much recently. We got Aurora all nice and ready, but your shoes. Hey, it's that kind of day. It's that I day. have fuzzy... Okay, I have fuzzy sandals on because it's just that kind of day. It's always that. You know what? We're it's always Walmart. Walmart. You're it's summer. Walmart. Oh wow! <laughs> you should definitely always test the cart. That's a good one. It's a good one. We're gonna need like two or three. So Miss Aurora got masks in in um, fan mail, and now she thinks she needs to wear them everywhere, and I love that. Made it. Radiant <laughs> mint. Yep. You know how many of these we need? Like, okay, you just got a week. What are you gonna do for the second week? <laughs> right? <laughs> we go through a lot of toothpaste. I feel like toothpaste and toilet paper are main things that we go through in our house. So this just happened. Aaron had to call Crystal to figure out how to work something on his Tesla. And Crystal figured it out. I figured it out, guys. So don't let it's Aaron pretend to, to be the car guy. It's all Crystal. Max has been obsessed with Oreos. As you guys saw, he had the fireworks ones, which are so cool. I also love these ones. They're heart-shaped. I love that for Pride Month. And then Double Stuff. Double stuff are they heart-shaped the or did they just lay them to look like a heart? I don't know. We're going to find out. 
That's oh, I think they're just labeled just like a pencil. They should have made them heart shaped. That would have been right? so cute. Yeah, they're just. That's okay. Get them anyway. It's okay. Okay. So we're going to get Max a few different ones to try. And then we need lots of gallons of milk. Yes. Cool. We go through usually a gallon of milk a day, is kind of. But sometimes one gallon will last like a day and a half. Milk used to be a dollar ninety-seven. It is now three forty-two. It's like three months ago. It's so crazy. So you added on a dollar per month. A dollar per month. <laughs> Let's not continue that it's, trend. It's still two dollars less than gas. I think six gallons would be good. Oh my gosh! Look, we almost took the whole. <laughs> not much milk left. I'm not sure what that was. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this really hot guy just walked in the store. Hey. Here he is! <laughs> Mommy. Well, now, now you gave me this. Now you gave me this amazing compliment. Now I can't pick the battle that I was gonna pick with you by coming in here. You were gonna pick a battle? I saw where your you hair parked looks so good. your Escalade. Oh my I knew he was going to say that. He says never. Why would you park next to a car? No, return? no, we're not getting that. I said the same thing. Okay. Joe said the same thing? No, Joe didn't. Didn't. Hey, He's yes, lying. I was like, he was uh, like, are you going to park? Are you going to park there? <laughs> You're like, I know I shouldn't. And who had to call his wife to figure out how to work his car? And whose wife figured out how to work his car? Be very proud of me. That's a big step. <laughs> I'm still learning things about the car, and I've had it for, what, eight months now? They only have three things of refried beans. Yeah, and everyone loves refried beans. Everyone loves them. What are we teaching her about? Um, oh, emergency kit. With all the food disappearing off of the shelves, we thought it wouldn't hurt to just try a little bit. So we're gonna actually probably do a video on testing these out to see, are they even edible? So keep an eye on Beyond Crazy, so we're gonna do a video on it. Fun. Okay, the worst thing at the grocery store, what is it? Toys. What? Toys. Toys? <laughs> no. <laughs> the worst isn't really good, I've been saying no. But, um, okay. The worst thing at the grocery store is when you get to the end aisle. Ice cream. And we decided, not ice cream. We decided that we wanted to have guacamole with one of the dinners that we're prepping and we didn't grab chips. So the worst thing is when you're at the end of the thing and you're ready to check out and then you realize you forgot something and you have to walk all the way back down the store to get it. Ah, not the fun thing. So they're all out of the, oh no. What happened? Someone dropped that and it exploded. Didn't clean up their mess. Oh, that was not us. us. That was not us. What is that for, Jamie? Fan, when you get too hot, you just want to turn it Because it's 115 outside? Yeah. That's awesome. Large family problems, for sure. So we hit our maximum number, and we still have all this left. So we have to check out, and then we have to continue shopping. But we're looking good so far. Can I just say the Ikea bags are the best reusable bags because they fit so much stuff. You just have to be careful not to overload it. We are all done grocery shopping. We are going to get checked out and then we will show you what we got and what we're going to prep when we get back home. Did you see what we got? That's a lot of ranch. We got a lot of ranch. So Bella, as you guys know, she loves chicken, but what she didn't tell you is that she likes it with ranch. Yeah. Only so we ranch. go through a lot of ranch. <laughs> I got you some Oreos, Max. Let's go. Oh my if you don't know, I'm actually getting an Oreo collection started. Hey! The big bag yeah. of chicken, like these ones. When did you get here? Just now. start this meal prep Savannah and Max and Aaron are all gonna help do it 
So, and Where's Joe, are you helping Joe? Yeah. Yep. I, I recognize all the ingredients. <laughs> so, the kids love enchiladas, and it is a really good dinner to go ahead and like put together, and then you can put it in the freezer. All the kids will have to do is take it out of the freezer and put it in the oven. So, and even if Aaron and I weren't going out of town, this is really good to prevent from eating out all the time. Because a lot of times you're too tired, and then at the end of the day, you're like, oh, I'll just eat out. But if you meal prep and do dinners like when you feel like it, and then you could do it for the entire week if you want. So, okay, let's do this. Now, I've never actually made this recipe. Crystal always makes it. I always make this because it's from my mom. My mom taught me this recipe. So tell me what to do. Okay, we need can opener. So we use evaporated milk. We use cream of chicken, chicken in a can. Now you can use any kind, like you could use turkey. You can you, use. you can use any can kind. I just do the chicken in a can because it's easier, but you could actually cook chicken and then add it into the enchiladas. But any kind of meat really would work. And then we use the Macayo's enchilada sauce. This is the kids' favorite. We've tried the green and the red, and this is the one that all the kids vote for. The other good thing about this dinner is it is gluten-free, so Hallie loves it. And then you throw the tortilla in there. No, I wish it all mixed together. Okay, I guess that works. Okay, so you dip the tortilla in the enchilada sauce. Come on, get in here. Get messy, Savannah. Back, you're gonna be the cheese sprinkler because our hands are gonna be messy. Okay, so you dip it in. You Do we have an open bag of cheese? We have an issue in this house. <laughs> so we have an issue in this house of opening a bag of cheese and then opening another bag of cheese and then opening another bag of cheese. One time, I looked at the fridge, we had six open bags of cheese. And tell them, he had a whole family meeting and made everybody say they were not gonna open six bags of cheese. So I just wanna make sure that we don't have an open bag of cheese before we open this bag. I'm pretty yeah. sure you have four ketchups in there too, right? Max. Max, you don't need a machete to freaking open cheese. I mean, I guess that worked. Okay, so we do one layer like this. We put a little bit of sauce. Ten down! I'm just kidding. Those of you who know Dave Ramsey will understand. Gordon Ramsey, come oh. on now. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing finances here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's good, that's good. Right. So you sure? sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. Max, good good thing the counters perfect. are clean. We can reuse all that. Yes. Yeah, don't worry about Guys, that. Don't. Then you do another layer. The only thing I don't like about it is it gets kind of messy. <laughs> As Savannah cooks herself. But it is herself. super fast and easy. Like this, you can literally whip this out in five minutes. Put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. My grandma makes enchiladas very similar to this. And we love to take a fried egg and put it on top. Yeah. Interesting. So just an interesting way to kind of mix it up a little bit if you want uh, want to do something different. But I love enchiladas. Ooh, like and I personally love, I love cabbage. And so I'm always looking for a uh, recipe that I can use cabbage with. So what I love to do is just shred some cabbage and drizzle it on top of my enchilada. The multiverses are connecting. There's two dinners being made at once. Okay, Dad's making actual dinner for tonight. This is for the kids for tomorrow. I was gonna say something about it. What are you gonna say about it? I don't know. Then I just <laughs> hmm. the multiverse threw me off. <laughs> I, I was very confused. <laughs> I was very confused. Um, Would you say you're oh, in a oh, multiverse of madness? I remember. It's crazy. Okay, so we put this together in four minutes and forty-five seconds. A little. What? Okay. What is That's that? a K, 350,000. No. No! Oh wait, that's 
a hundred thousand. Oh no. You're supposed to, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this next one is super easy. It's chicken nachos, which is our kids' absolute oh favorite. I love chicken nachos. It's the one that almost everybody will eat. I think there's one kid that doesn't like it, but you can't win them all. Okay, no, we don't need the machete. No, no. We just need a bag. Right. Yeah. Because it's just a crock pot meal. So you're going to put four chicken breasts in. No, 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 no. It's a Ziploc. <laughs> who uses that? What do you mean who uses Everyone. that? <laughs> One more. What? You're doing it the most so inefficient weird. way. Yeah. Okay, you could just touch it with your hand and put it in the bag. It's so, very easy. Now we have to open the beans, drain the juice out. So we do two cans of pinto beans. Don't worry, that's the bottom. So we keep moving. Ew, what is that? Why does that eye pop out? What do I do with this? Oh, then you pour it in the bag. Then you get some diced tomatoes. Dump that in the bag. Trying to do this one-handed and vlog it. Yummy! Okay. Then we're going to put some lime juice and taco seasoning. Okay, one more. You gotta pull it out. No, Max. Oh my gosh. Oh, Max is the not the rule team follower. Yeah, you need to pull the other one out. It's going to explode. <laughs> pull the sideways at least. Such a serious face, Max. Yeah. There's lime juice everywhere. What is this? Oh no. We don't need. Oh my goodness. Not crazy. You're crazy, she said. Okay, zip it up. I don't think, she's... I don't think it's gonna zip. <laughs> okay, normally if you don't have this big a family, you don't need that much chicken. Okay. Yeah, Crystal, you should have used a big, like, 17 gallon garbage bag instead of a what? little gallon Ziploc bag. It'll okay. work. It'll work. Oh! <laughs> Break open the bag. So you just put it in the crock pot in the morning, and then by dinner time it is all set and ready to go. Uh, that's not gonna stay. That's not a. Is that a spider? What is that? Crock pot. Crock and pot? Yes. <laughs> okay. Normally we would write the day that we prepped it. We wouldn't bread. I don't know what that is. The crock in a pot. No, you're... Max, Max. Crock you're good. Crock pot morning. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you forgot the sun. Okay, so Aaron and I are going to be gone for three nights, so that's why we're prepping three dinners. You're going to have to get a tissue and wipe that off. It's not even a Sharpie marker. Yeah, look. Not my crocodile. Actually... No, no. <laughs> Don't do it. Well, and I'm really excited because Alex and Savannah are going. Alex isn't going to the wedding dress shopping part. Um, and then Hannah, because she's the maid of honor. And then Savannah's mom is going wedding dress shopping with us too. So I'm super excited to hang out with her and spend time with her. You me too. You too? Aurora's not going. Okay, so we're going to put this in the freezer. Okay, you guys ready for the third and last dinner? Yeah, I will. Hey! The game has changed. Put that this, down. <laughs> this is a $4 on sale from Bass Pro Shirt. Do you know how hurt I would be? We are ready to make our last dinner, and this one is actually really good for breakfast also. Breakfast pizza. I think that's it. Not bagels. It was, what was it called? Biscuits? No. Just breakfast Bubbles. pizzas. <laughs> breakfast pizzas. So these you can eat fresh, like right after you make them. They're actually so good. If not, you can freeze them or just keep them in the fridge if you're going to eat them in the next day or two. First things first, we have to cook the sausage. I know how to do that. Okay. I'll do it. You're going to be the sausage cooker. Luke was running in the house and may or may not have gotten scratched. Where's Pete? From one of these handles. I scratched myself on the Why don't you put, do you want me to put a band-aid on it? 
Yes, I'll get you a band-aid. Okay, while he is cooking that, we are going to start on this part. Involved in this. Oh. Alright, put them straight on the floor. Watch your hands. Look how cute they are. Okay, so you put the sausage on here. So we could call them a smile breakfast pizzas. Put the sausage on top, you put it in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. And then Max is scrambling some eggs, you put the scrambled eggs on top, and that's it. They're ready. Okay, so the these are done, the eggs are done, so let's mix them together. It's really good. It tastes like one of those McDonald's egg McMuffins. Muffins. Yeah. So you can put those in the freezer and then just pull them out, stick it right in the microwave and heat it up and you got yourself a ready-made breakfast. Bella! And what Anna! Is that? I want to try one. Oh, you want to try it? Sure. It's a breakfast pizza. I don't like eggs. You'll like it. Bella? Mm. Is it good? The sauce is pretty good. Okay, so I am putting them in a little container and I'm just gonna put them in the fridge because the kids will eat them over the next couple days. So I'm super excited to go to New York really soon. And okay, so it's gonna be Aaron and I, it's gonna be Alex and Savannah, and then Hannah is going. First time Hello. Hannah's ever been. <laughs> we are going up for three nights and I'm super excited to go wedding dress shopping and it's gonna be an amazing time. And now the kids will have three dinners while we are gone. And then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna to go to VidCon. So we have some crazy travel coming up, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.